Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I had an awesome question by one of our VIP members. So here's the situation and the scenario, just in case you might want to do something similar. We're going to show you exactly how to do it right now. So here's the concept. You have a promotion, and that promotion is limited to, say, 10 people, which is the use case that we're going to follow today. Um, you want to display on your funnel that there are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, however many remaining in order to opt in. Now, unfortunately, what we cannot do is prevent somebody from ordering uh, without using a little bit of JavaScript, which we could also do. But basically, we want to create a countdown to how many spots are left for this promotion. And so you can do that inside high level using workflows um, and getting a little bit creative with some math functions. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I have a similar video um, already on this, but we're gonna show you this particular use case uh, so that you guys can go and develop this type of promo solution for yourselves or your clients. So let's, let's get into it. Um, and again, let me know if you're live. I like the comments. I like people letting me know that they're here, that they're watching. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe. Um, and let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to use a function that is going to help us to update a custom value, but there's a, there's a creative way to do this because you can't just update a custom value or you can't actually update a number field with without doing math functions. And so we're going to show you guys how to work around this. So the first thing that you need to do, um, I already had this field, so I'm just using this field, but in this case, you could use you know any custom value you want. Um, that would show, hey, how many, how many items are left uh, with this promotion? So that's the first thing that you need to do is create a custom value that is now going to become a display value. And I'll show you guys that in the funnel in just a second. Um, and then you need to go and you need to create a custom field. Now this custom field is going to get tied to every contact. So I just created um, a custom field called how many. There you go. How many left? Now make sure that this is a numeric field. You need to create a numeric field in order to do math functions um, for this particular use case. So I created this how many left field right here. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you the funnel first, which is a super simple funnel. All I did was I added, let me dive in and actually show you what we did here. Um, there are only, and then you paste that custom value spots left. So in this case, it should be 10 right now. Um, let's go and preview it and take a look. Okay, there's nine. So that means that I haven't updated. Let's go back again. This is the lovely part about doing this stuff live, but let's go back to settings. Let's go to custom values. There you go. So the value is nine because I obviously ran a test before I did this for you guys. Um, so there you go. The funnel shows that there are only nine spots left. Now let's watch what happens when I go and I fill this out again. We're going to opt in. There we go. We've opted in. Now, obviously, I don't have a thank you page or anything like that, but let's go ahead and refresh this page. This literally worked 10 seconds ago. Uh, let's go into the workflow and take a look and see how we built this workflow. Ah, I know exactly why it didn't work. Okay, so we're going to go into the this one here, and we're going to go to this one here, and I'm going to show you why it didn't work because I did it once, and that wasn't turned on. So let's go back and let's take a look at the workflow function. So basically the form submit is the trigger. You would probably want an order form on here um, in some way, shape or form. Now, the next step is a math operation. So we're gonna take that field of how many left. We are going to add the custom value that we just created. And then we are going to subtract one and then we are gonna update how many are left. So again, if we start with 10, it's gonna add 10 to create that 10 value and it's gonna subtract one for the one that was just purchased, and it's gonna update that contact field for that client. Um, so that's gonna then be nine, is what that client's number is gonna be. Now, we had a condition here because he wanted to, if the value was zero, so meaning the person that purchased when there was only one left, now that value is zero, we want to update him and let him know that, hey, the promo's ended, all of your things have been purchased, so this is the condition. If the value equals zero, we are going to go left. That is a true statement. And we're going to send an internal notification saying that, hey, all of your stuff has been purchased. Um, please turn off the campaign. If it's not zero, it's going to go this way and it's going to update the campaign 
with the new how many left number value that's tied to that specific context. So now that I've turned on allow multiple, we're going to do this again and hit opt in. Okay, so we've opted in. Let's go double check our workflow, make sure I went through it. I should have gone through it a second time. No pressure. Allow multiples on. Is this a high level being high level -y thing? Perhaps. Let's refresh and see what we got. Something's wrong. Um, math functions are a bit off. But here, let's go and check to see why that math function is off. Um, we went to here. We got the math operation. So let's go check. Nine plus. Ah, okay. So I just did the math functions a little bit off here. Let's go and see if we can correct that. So math functions, how many left? Oh, because I already went through it. Let's uh, let's do this again. And I'm going to clear my value here. This wouldn't happen if it was a different contact, but because it's the same contact, it broke the system. All right, so we're going to go down here and we're going to delete this. We're going to make it zero. We're going to reset that one. Actually, I'm just going to make it blank. I don't want it to be zero. And then we're going to go into our custom values and we're going to reset this back to 10. Like that. And we're going to go back to the site here, hit refresh. Let's try it again. So we're going to go Adam, we'll put in that email, click opt in. Now again, let's go double check our workflow to make sure that everything worked the way that we want it to. Status. We're going to check the execution log and make sure that this made it from 10 to 9, which it did. So now this page, when the next person visits, should have only nine spots left. So now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to use my other email. And we're going to opt in again. And let's refresh the page and see if it did. There you go. So now there are only eight spots left. So that's how you do this. And then obviously based on, you know, other conditions and things like that, that you might want. That's how you do it. That's how you kind of create a countdown function on your funnels um, to basically display and create some urgency to get people to hopefully order a little bit faster if they know that there's not very many left. Um, but this is a real-time counter on your funnels by using custom values, custom fields, and workflows. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, hopefully you can create some unique use cases around this. Um, and hopefully this gave you some creative ideas on how to develop different systems and tools for yourself. With that being said, um, if you got all the way through this video, like it, comment. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Um, your feedback is always welcome. And if you've got any other questions, please drop them on this thread um, inside the GHL Mastery Group or on YouTube. And I'd be happy to create more videos like this for you guys to show you how to do creative things like this. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.